learn about similar triangles, and two triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are equal. So for example, what that means is, if this angle's 28 degrees, then which angle in this triangle would be 28 degrees? So they have to be in the same position. So if they're corresponding, it means they're in the same relative position as one another. Yeah. So if, if these two triangles are similar, it means that the angles are equal, the ones that are corresponding. Yeah. So if this is 28, this has to be 28. If angle B is 121 degrees, yeah. then which angle would be 121? Good. E. Good. So this would have to be 121 degrees. And if you need to find angle C, which angle would be corresponding to angle C? Um. This one. Right. And Good. Then so you just look there and then go yeah. and find it. Good. Oh. So if this is 31 degrees, then this is 31 degrees as well. Yeah. So any triangles that are similar, their corresponding angles will be equal. And the symbol for similar triangles looks like this. Okay? So yeah. we can say that triangle ABC is similar yeah. to triangle DEF. There's another rule that applies to see if they're similar. And that is if the corresponding side lengths are proportional. Okay, so we're gonna first we want to figure out which sides are corresponding. What that means is that they're in the same position. Yeah. So if I indicate side length AB is twelve point one units, which side length corresponds to that from the second triangle? This length E and F. So it's gotta be in the same position. Yeah. So it'd be Oh, that's the yeah, same as Same oh, position. So the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so these two side lengths are corresponding. Yeah. Which, so do we know the length of DE? Yeah, it's 12.1. That's for AB. So oh. we don't actually know this because... Because oh, that triangle's bigger. Exactly, right? this triangle's but larger. But they the same angles? Huh? Yeah, that's, they'll always have the same oh, angles because... It's different, like, length. It's exactly. It's the same... Um, I guess structure the triangles, yeah. so that's why they're the same angle, just this one's a bigger size than the Exactly, other. it's yeah. like an, a photo enlargement. Uh -huh. So you can blow up a photo, it's still the same photo, but it's just enlarged, uh -huh. right? Okay, so we'll call this X. Yeah. We don't know the side length. We also know that all triangles, all angles in a triangle add up to 180, Yeah. right? Okay, so these two side lengths are corresponding. Right, I remember that. Okay. Yeah. All angles. Now if we look at side length AC yeah. is 20.1, which side length from the second triangle corresponds with this side? Which one's in the same position? This one. Good, DF. Yeah. Okay. So the second rule that you need to know about similar triangles, we already know that their angles that are corresponding will be equal. Yeah. Well, their corresponding side length, so this side length corresponds with this side length, and this side length corresponds with this side length, mm -hmm. the ratios of these two sides will be equal. So I'll explain what that means. Okay, so for example, let's start with, we can figure out this ratio, 20.1 to 16.1. We can write a ratio as a fraction. Remember you learned that? Yeah. Okay. Well, this ratio, whatever it is, 20.1 divided by 16.1 has to be equal to this ratio, 12.1 over x. Yeah. Okay? Because they're similar, they'll have the same ratio because think of it like an enlargement or uh, this this triangle was enlarged by the same ratio for all the sides. Yeah. Okay? So we can find x. We can find the missing side length oh. by cross multiplication. Oh. Right? And oh, I think Okay, so we're just going to cross multiply it so we don't know what x is, so we can't actually multiply times an unknown, but we can multiply 16.1 times 12.1, right? Mm -hmm. And what did you get for 16.1 times 12.1? I got equals 194.81. Good. Is this thing actually a part of YC? Yep. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so 20.1x <laughs> is equal to this. Well, how do you solve for x? How do you isolate a variable? So to, to isolate this x, I'm going to divide by 20.1. That will cancel out which means I have to divide the right side by 20.1 because mm -hmm. whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So I'm only left with x, yeah. We're just left with x. When we divide 194.81 divided by 20.1, yeah. 
And remember the symbol for approximately equal to? Looks like this. Approximately oh. equal to 9.7. So this missing yeah. value here that is, the is nine, oh. approximately 9.7. But we're going to check our answer to see if that makes sense. Angle originally, we had the two sides that were corresponding. That these two sides were corresponding. Okay, so 20.1 over 16.1. What's this as a what is this as a decimal? Let's let's figure this out. Let's do 20.1 divided by 16. Approximately 1.248 so 1.25. Yeah, yeah, let's round it off. Okay, well according to our rule about similar triangles, all the corresponding side lengths should have the same ratio. So if 20.1 over 16.1 is equal to 1.25, then according to our answer, 12.1 over, we said x was 9.7, yeah. should also be equal to approximately 1.25. So let's check to see, to make sure that it is. Same 1.25. Yeah, perfect. So it's equal to approximately 1.25. So it works. Similar triangles will always have the same ratios, mm -hmm. and they will always have the same angles. The corresponding angles will always be the same. Okay? Made with DoodleCast Pro.